This is Dr. Tom Roselle. After 35 years of practice and almost three quarters of a million patient visits, the Roselle Center for Healing knows what works and knows how you can take control of your health and wellness. My team of doctors practice 21st century integrative medicine. Whether you suffer from chronic pain and fatigue, allergies, or headaches, we can help. Take charge of your health before it's too late. Make an appointment today. Call 703-698-7117 or visit online at rosellecare.com. Dr. Tom Roselle and the Roselle Center for Healing present Ageless Health 2014, Proven Tools to Maximize Your Health, Saturday, October 18th at the Fairview Park Marriott in Falls Church, Virginia. At this all-day seminar, learn how you can feel better or feel great when the doctors from the Roselle Center for Healing each discuss a topic that directly affects your health, like your food, physical fitness, preventing injury and disease, your healing process, and more. Learn more at agelesshealth2014.com. That's agelesshealth2014.com. Dr. Tom Roselle live right now on 105.9 FM and AM 630 WMAL. Welcome to Dr. Tom Roselle live. This is Dr. Tom Roselle live in studio waiting to take your phone calls. 888-630-9625. 888-630-9625. That's how you find me here and ask me whatever you'd like to ask me and how you find us off the air. You go to rosellecare.com. That's R-O-S-E-L-L-E-C-A-R-E dot com. And if you'd like immediate response, and like one of my doctors to talk to you, one of my professional staff to get back to you on a subject that you really need to know about, call 703-698-7117. That's 703-698-7117. Tell my staff that you need to talk to somebody about whatever it is that is bugging you, and we'll get it done and you know try to answer your questions as quickly as possible. I want to let you all know that you're always welcome to attend any of our in-house continuing education programs at the Roselle Center for Healing. Additionally, we have those every other week, by the way, and they're on different topics, as many of you know, from migraine headaches to allergy reactions to autoimmune conditions, and Dr. Browning's got one coming up in a couple weeks on low back pain. And, uh, But in addition to that, on the uh, alternating weeks, we have our in-house health care Workshop, And what that's all about is simply this. We begin to go through the salient pieces of what we call the triad of health. You know, my book, uh, Ageless Health, Health is a do yourself program, is based on that premise. And you need to understand that there's only three things that can influence anything, either in sickness or in health, and that is what we lovingly call the triad of health, structure. When we talk about structure, we're talking about what happens when the body is injured. We're going to talk a little bit about that today because it's a very important uh, topic. And biochemistry, what does that mean? That means anything that you eat you shouldn't be eating, anything that you need more of that you don't get enough of, things that you absorb into your body from the outside, all the pollutions, the toxins, even the electrical fields that are out there today. And then, of course, the stress and strains of the emotional pain that we put ourselves through and how that affects. And they're all interrelated. They're all equal in their application. So if you'd like to know more about that, you're always welcome. No matter when, you can bring somebody with you. Please be our guest. These are our gift to you, 703-698-7117. Or you can go to rosellecare.com, and there's a list of you know the topics and what we do, when we do them, and so forth. I want to remind you, October 18th, Saturday, guess what? Ageless Health 2014. It is a day that will knock your socks off. This is a day that if you're really serious about turning your life around and that of your loved ones, you can't miss this. Proven tools to maximize your health. Ageless Health 2014. Natural and integrative medicine works with your body to achieve and maintain optimal health. This is a day when you can figure out how and you know how to put it into place. Register today, but you missed the $59 early registration. It ended on Friday. Now the price has gone up a little bit. It's at $79. And remember, this includes everything, all the course materials, organic lunch, uh, so much more. You're going to be ended for $1,000 worth of health care. Go online. Check this situation out. As of September 15th, that'll go to $99. So act now. Don't forget. Don't put it off and you find yourself, oh, my God, now i got to pay 20 bucks more. And then there's a VIP ticket as well that you can uh, do for that. It's a one-step, one-day. Will you take that first step? Will you take the action that you need to? Ages Health is the most effective way of learning how to create a health care plan that will change your life. I promise you, you will have tools that you didn't have, didn't understand, didn't know how to 
implement you will at the end of that day. Join us. I promise you it will be a blockbuster day. We're going to uh, talk about How about those of you who walk in the room and you forget why you walked in the room? Yeah, that's not fun, is it? You know, you walk in, you got something on your brain, and all of a sudden everything goes blank. You say, why did I do that? Why am I here? How about that tire around your belly? You know, that cortisol weight that no matter what you do, you can't get off? Guess what? We're going to show you how to get rid of that. We're going to show you how to get rid of allergy reactions that you've been suffering with from forever. We're going to go over laboratory tests that you need to ask your doctor. You need to know because, you know, most of you know more than they do. And say, listen, I want this. For example, when you go have a thyroid test, most of them do just thyroid stimulating hormone, which is TSH. Sometimes they'll do a T4. But how about what's called free T3, free T4, uptake uh, T3, uh, the free T3s that are available, reverse T3. How about TPOs? All the things that your doctor doesn't run that answers the question why your thyroid might be screwed up to begin with. I promise you we're going to go through that. How about... You know, when you get a small little injury, you kind of limp around for a while. Say, oh, I can live with that. Not a big deal, right? And a month or six months or a year or three or five go by, and now you're in major trouble. Guess what? Don't put up with these things because they're going to cascade, and the avalanche will occur, and you're in trouble. Join us. That's a day I promise you will be the beginning platform for you to change everything in your life. October 18th is Saturday. I'll be there. Will you? Let's talk about some great things today. We have a lot on the schedule, and I want to answer your questions as well. 888 You know, I read all the time because I'm out lecturing and I'm talking to people, and, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there that really makes me kind of go crazy. And we're going to talk about the crazies, but we're going to talk about what you can do to help yourself today a little bit. And what is what makes me nuts? Well, most of you who have had any opportunity to sit and talk to me know that when it comes to the manipulation of the healthcare field, not only through drug companies, but the silliness that we call Obamacare and all of that, and you're being duped, you're the animal in the, in the box that's being played with. So here's the deal. Think about this, you know. There's a drug that comes on the market. And I'll talk about one that, um, you know, we see all the time. It's called albuterol. You know, when an off-patent asthma drug such as albuterol went back on patent, the price went crazy. It went from $15 to 100 bucks. okay? Albuterol, amazing thing. The way this off-patent asthma drug got back on patent is the way things get manipulated. And it's a starting look into the, 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 the garbage that happens because people have big pockets and they pay people to do certain things. It's the lobbying that goes behind all the legislation that you see. So, for example, albuterol, to be readily inhaled you know, into your lungs, you have to have something called a propellant. It pushes it in there. It makes it go in deep. Well, the propellant that's there... Uh, is something called chlorofluorocarbon, or CFC. And guess what this thing does? It depletes the ozone layer. Yeah, no kidding. It's just like, wow, really? And it, it's also used to uh, spew out, you know, out of air conditioners and refrigerators, refrigerators and aerosol sprays and all kinds of things like that. So CFC was banned in the initial stages from virtually all uses. But it was still permitted to be used in, guess what, small amounts that were used in asthma inhalers until last year. So the pharmaceutical companies lost their patent on the medication that used CFC. But they wanted to regain it, so they had to do something to make a difference. So they went to, you know, only things that money could buy. And they contributed $520,000 to a, uh, a supposed, you know, maybe kind of quasi, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, environmental protection group to lobby the FDA to remove CFC from all drugs. Well, this consortium, this group of, you know, maybe they were legitimate, maybe they weren't uh, organizations, also aggressively developed patented combinations of albuterol and other inhalants with new propellants that, guess what, the FDA gave its blessing. They said, yes, indeed, go forth, child, and screw up everybody that you can screw up. That's the way these things work. This is, this is a nefarious, this is manipulative, this is covert, and it paid off. It totally paid off. 
Going back some years, the FDA approved an outright ban on the CFC propellants and inhalers. And this, you know, this went back and they finally got it done. And, you know, about five, six years ago, you know, it was done. So, but then subsequent bans took effect on other CFC drugs. Now, this is a cascade, right? So they're, they're thumping their chest and they're saying, yeah, let's go for it. And all of a sudden, this consortium comes about and they begin to put things back out there. The payoff for this deceptive lobbying that we talked about, this campaign, was a six-fold increase in the price. And believe me. I'm not the guy that's purporting that you should do drugs, remember? I'm the natural guy. I'm the guy that says there's other ways. Your body's just screwed up and your immune system is shut down. Don't do this. But those of you who are doing it understand what's happening to you. Your dollars are being put in somebody's pocket, and it's a backdoor manipulation. So please don't misunderstand the message here. Two messages. One, there's other ways. You don't need albuterol. You know, there's things that will vasodilate in a natural sense, when you really understand the integration of structural chemical emotional pathways, then you really get it. But in this particular situation, and many others like them, remember I said that, that uh, you know, Big Pharma spends in the neighborhood of about 8 to $10 billion a year to try to convince you, through your doctors or directly by uh, airways, or through lobbying agencies, that you should take the drugs. This is just one little piece of it. So understand that the winners in this corrupt, manipulative uh, national health care that we're going through right now are guys like this. So remember the lies. You know, if you'd like to keep your doctor, you can. Remember that one? That was really good, you know. But we're seeing that other major doctors and institutions and so forth are opting out. They say, hey, listen, you know, you want to come to me? Come to me. But I'm not buying into the insurance mess. So, you know... When you see that happens, Americans who sign up for this this manipulative situation are getting ruined. People are having to pay exorbitant amounts. Let me give you an example, personal example, all right? We have a company of 28 people. We provide health care for everybody in our in our office. We always have. We didn't have to be forced by doing this. I'm at that place right now where in my brain I will never go on any governmental anything. Now, I don't take any medications, except for my flight physical. I haven't seen a traditional allopathic doctor probably in 40 years. So guess what? I just stroked the check for my catastrophic health care insurance for me. All right? I've got a $5,000 deductible, five grand. Do you know what I wrote that check for, for the year? $8,000 for a single individual. 8000 bucks. I don't use the system. I get taken care of in my own office with manipulation, with acupuncture, with nutrition. I work out. I take care of my health. I just want it in case, you know, some, God forbid something happens and I need one of these guys to sew me up. But that's it. $8,000. Now, you know, argument would have it that I can handle that. But nevertheless, here's the deal. You can't, most of you. So you're going to go on the government dole. And when you go on the government dole, you're basically in a, you know, real bad tight position. I have some words to use, but my dear friend sitting across the board here from me would get very upset if I use them, so I won't. Triple eight six three zero nine six two five. Let's talk about some other things that are important. But I want you to be aware. My job is to make you aware, to make you understand that, you know, this ain't about taking care of you. You know, in my profession, you know, by Education initially, I'm a chiropractor and I'm acupuncturist. I have, you know, two degrees in functional human nutrition, and we have a mess of people that we look at problems from a multidiscipline approach. I want to talk to you about the the structural piece for a while, and then we're going to get back in and we're going to talk about chemical piece today. We're going to talk about other things, but we're going to talk about this thing called subluxation. And the osteopaths call it spinal lesion. What does that mean? That means that the structural system in your body, your spinal system, all the joint spaces, your cranial plates, your jaw, and so forth, are out of position in a way that, guess what? It's causing your nervous system to malfunction and shut down, and subsequently your immune system, your pain patterns, and everything like that are going through the ceiling. So remember that word because we're going to take a break for some very important information right now. Don't go away. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosal Live. Did you know that routine mammograms can increase radiation exposure to breast tissue 1,000 times over a chest x-ray? 
Now consider a simple, non-invasive, and totally safe medical procedure approved by the FDA since 1982 that can detect breast cancer five to eight years before it can be visualized on a mammogram. Infrared thermographic imaging can accurately detect the initial signs of breast cancer as increased blood supply and metabolic rate, which is recorded as heat. Why expose yourself to radiation when accurate and safe medical detection is available? Call the Thermography Center of Fairfax to schedule a breast exam today at 703-948-7248. That's 703-943-7248. For more information, visit www.thermographyscan.net. That's thermographyscan.net for the Thermography Center of Fairfax. The Roselle Center for Healing is a proud supporter of breast cancer awareness and reminds you to conduct a monthly breast self-examination and and a thermographic breast scan as part of your annual wellness checkup. Dr. Tom Roselle Live continues now on 105.9 FM and AM 630 WMAL. Hey, wait, com- welcome back, everybody. This is Dr. Tom Roselle. You're listening to Dr. Tom Roselle Live. I'm in studio. It's beautiful outside. It's hot, but it's beautiful. I came with my convertible. It's down. 888-630-9625. Love to talk to you. Let's discuss anything that you'd like to know a little bit more about. I've got several things that I want to share with you today and make sure that you're up to speed, up to date, and get it. You really understand that you are in charge. Nobody else is, but the only way that you don't take control is that you let somebody else tell you what to do. I don't know about you, but that's not the model that I'm okay with. If you get into um, a lot of the journals that were out over the last week or so, you're going to look at things about, you know, vitamin D is out there again. We've been talking about that as it relates to heart and heart disease, immune function, and so forth. At this point, you should get it. If you don't get it, I don't know where you've been sleeping. You haven't been paying attention. Uh, There's things out there on resveratrol and so forth. But let's talk about... You know, vitamin D and inflammation and so forth. Every article will tell you that, and in, in from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition to the uh, New England Journal of Medicine to the British Journal of Medicine, anything that causes vitamin D not to come up to the levels that they, they need to in profound injury patterns and so forth, or just not getting what you need to get, is going to dramatically increase your inflammatory level within your body. Remember we talked about this silly thing called inflammation. It blocks everything, causes everything, or at least it's part of the culprit, you know, if, if not the, the primary driver. But I want to talk to you about pain patterns or chronic irritation, restriction in function and motion, putting up with when it comes to your body as a structural system. You know, and I'm going to give you a kind of a a story. Okay, let's take a guy or a woman who's in, you know, about 40 years old, 42, 38, and so forth, and their job in, entails lifting. It doesn't have to be heavy necessarily, but lifting, repetitive stuff. You know, ladies, that means, you know, lifting children, lifting the vacuum cleaner, being outside, working in the uh, garden. How about just at work and you're bending over all the time and you're, you're picking things up from underneath your desk or you're pulling things, you're pushing them, you're getting your car, you're, you're outside, you're uh, weed whacking, you're mowing the lawn. All those things have to do with the same type of situation. So while you're bending over one day to pick something up, all of a sudden you feel a sharp stabbing pain across your low back, or in your neck and shoulders, or numbness and burning in your hands someplace. It's just, boom, it's there. And you've been everywhere. You've done everything, right? You've had, you know, uh, PT care. You've been to your osteopath. You've been to your chiropractor. You've been to your acupuncturist. And you're, you're getting some relief, but it's not working completely. The pain pattern is there, but what's happening? Not only is that nerve being irritated because of something we call a spinal lesion or a subluxation pattern, but your inflammatory levels are going through the ceiling, and it's a recidivistic situation. Inflammation produces pain patterns. Pain patterns produce inflammation. Dysfunction within the nervous system causes these things to occur. But additionally, there's this culprit called zinc. It's a mineral. Zinc is an antioxidant. It also helps regulate nervous system and increases immune response. It will potentiate and perpetuate all kinds of pain and inflammatory reactions when the levels are not normal. And by the time you hit age 40, your zinc levels go through the floor. Why? Because of stress, because of our diets, we don't get them. Guys, guess what? Your prostate is subject to depletions of zinc. 50% of the dry weight of the prostate is zinc. 
paper I wrote back in 1977. It showed that when guys have benign hypertrophy and so forth, their zinc levels even drop further, increasing the incidence of that situation. But we're talking about something in addition to that that is parallel. Inflammation. Inflammation is a serious problem when it comes to structural problems. Structural pain, joint dysfunction, degenerative disease, all those things that your doc told you you got to put up with or take these drugs for the rest of your life. Or, you know, what do you expect for your age? Inflammation is acid. Acid is fire. It causes free radical damage, and it's cross-linked to every major tissue within the body. Inflammatory conditions affect joint spaces and connective tissue, as well as causing resistant transportation problems. You've heard about the, the you've heard the statement insulin resistant. Last night with some friends we were talking about that. Resistance means that you can't get it through the barrier. Subsequently, not only is it insulin resistant, causing a diabetic type of you know adult onset pattern, but every other hormone, every other system in your body is also going to be resistant because it can't has this inflammation that nothing can transport through. So pain patterns increase. They become far worse than what they should be, and your body begins to degradate. It begins to break down. It has to be recognized. It can't just be treated by causing more inflammation through drugs that blunt the process. It makes it far worse. We're going to talk much more about that, and we're going to tie it into a lot of different things today, but I'd love to have your phone calls. 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-9625. Call me. I'm in studio. We're talking about things that should affect you and your entire family. Don't go away. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosell Live. Dr. Tom Rosell and the Rosell Center for Healing present Ageless Health 2014, Proven Tools to Maximize Your Health, Saturday, October 18th at the Fairview Park Marriott in Falls Church, Virginia. At this all-day seminar, learn how you can feel better or feel great when the doctors from the Rosell Center for Healing each discuss a topic that directly affects your health, like your food, physical fitness, preventing injury and disease, your healing process, and more. Learn more at agelesshealth2014.com. That's agelesshealth2014.com. This is Dr. Tom Rosell, author of Ageless Health, Health is a Do-It-Yourself Program. My book, now also available in audio version, is a step-by-step program of how to take control of your health and wellness without drugs or needless surgery. You have the capacity to change your health and level of well-being. Take control of your health today and order Health is a Do-It-Yourself Program. For more information and to order, please visit agelesshealthbook.com. That's agelesshealthbook.com. Dr. Tom Rosell Live continues now on 105.9 FM and AM 630 WMAL. Welcome back, everybody. Dr. Tom Rosell. Listen to Dr. Tom Rosell Live. We're here in studio. It's beautiful outside. Give me a call, 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-9625. Love to talk to you on any subject you have in mind. We're a little talking about... Yeah, spinal pain and joint pain and structural injury and things you put up with and just kind of been hanging out for a long time, but how it causes other things and depletions and when other things are depleted, how that pain perpetuates itself. One of the things we're talking about is zinc, and zinc is a very powerful, powerful antioxidant, and it works in the body to handle free radical damage and so forth. That's one of the reasons that when the zinc levels are low because of stress and aging and so forth and where we're not replacing it, and you can replace it, that the body's defense systems start going down and causing the symptom process that you get. Zinc, again, a very powerful antioxidant and plays an extreme role in lots of things. It, if you don't have enough zinc, your eyes aren't going to be working so good. You know, It helps you develop an immune reaction to most everything in the body, particularly viral patterns. It helps nourish skin and hair. It fights against aging. So if your your zinc levels are low, guess what? You're going to look older and feel lousy and break down even faster. Uh, It helps heal all kinds of wounds in the body, taste and appetite. If your zinc levels are low, you can't taste anything, you've got no appetite. How about that? I mean, take a look at those levels. And But you have to have the right balance of certain types of things. You know, as we know, zinc deficiencies in the body come about for a lot of different things, uh, chronic illnesses, chronic inflammatory uh, reactions. There's the double-edged sword. Not enough zinc, inflammation goes up, inflammation goes up, decreases the amount of zinc in your body. If you get too much exercise or not enough, you're not exercising at all, you got a problem with that. Diets that are high in fiber, you know, and... uh, 
you know, will cause a problem because compounds present in fruit and vegetables and grains that actually inhibit the absorption. It's a definite problem for vegetarians. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't get these things. You've got to have them, but you have to have other balances of seeds and nuts and so forth that go along with it that supply these things. Otherwise, the opportunity isn't there. So what's the, you know, what's the zinc situation about? Can you just go out and get it? Well, yeah, you can, but that's not how your body works. It needs all the other cofactors. It needs things to work with it. Zinc safety, uh, you know, has always been shouted from the, the highest levels. What do I mean? Well, you get, you get way too much zinc. You can end up with some neurological irritation, but what does that mean? In excess of 200 milligrams per day for extended periods of time. The studies that were done when I wrote my paper, Zinc in the Prostate Gland, many years ago, were done with zinc sulfate at levels up to 200 milligrams a day. And again, you have to take each person into consideration and you have to look at that. We're going to get back to our little talk on zinc and pain and degradation and inflammatory reaction in just a second. Triple eight six three zero nine six two five. Let's go to the phones. Kenny, how can I help you? Thank you for calling. Hey, how you doing today? Yeah, it's uh, pretty amazing you're talking about this. I, back in February, I started with uh, some of this some tingling in my left arm, and they put me on a regimen of prednisone. that pretty much isolated the source to my neck. The tingling and the uh, all that faded away, only to return a couple months later with severe pain. Now I've already had a cortisone shot, and the pain has receded, but it's pretty much left my... Uh, bicep on my left arm very weak is there anything that i can take or do that yeah kenny here's uh... here's the problem what they're doing prednisone is a disastrous drug it does a lot of damage to your body what it does is decreases the inflammatory reaction uh, you know within the system so when you have pain you have inflammation so it locally decreases the inflammation so the pain gets better but there's a rebound phenomena as soon as you stop it the inflammatory level goes through the ceiling, but it did nothing to begin with to fix the underlying cause. The fact that your arm is weak indicates that you have nerve root compression. You have irritation to the nerve. It's shutting the message off to the muscle, so the muscle can't work anymore. The right, bi- right. Okay, okay, the biceps, you know, when you do curls, that muscle... That, that- that's why I said it the most when I do like an isolated curl. Yeah. The difference between my left and right arm is just it's just ridiculous. Yeah, you you have a pinched nerve at, at cervical five and six. That's where it's coming from. And you got to get somebody that knows what they're doing. You got to you know get a good chiropractor, an osteopath, somebody in your area. You live out in Warrington. Um, yeah. That really you know understands structural work. Get it fixed. Do what they tell you to do. Get treated to restore function, not to get rid of the pain, and you'll get it back. The problem, if you continue taking prednisone, you're going to destroy other pieces and other joints you know, throughout your system. So prednisone is a steroid, and any steroid, that's why you know, you, years ago, a guy gets hurt playing uh, professional football, basketball. They, they hit him with the, you know, the needle, they juice him, right? Well, what they're giving him is they're giving him a steroid. The problem is, is that, yeah, they can play because now they, they don't feel the pain, but they're not working at maximum function. They don't, under, they don't realize that the pain's not there, sets them up for, for worse pain, and then over a period of time, the joint that's being affected is destroyed. Then you go bone on bone. So what you're going to end up with with this type of situation is you end up with a, a progressive stenosis or narrowing or degeneration of that joint space. Get somebody who can treat you, get you off the, the craziness of the prednisone. You can get fixed, but you got to do it, and you you got to get get out of the medical loop that way. If if I can help you call or not call me, the easiest way to find me actually is, is just going to roselcare.com. Send me an email. I will send you the names of people that I know in your area. Uh, and I will tell you specifically what you need to get done. Does that work for you? And that, would, that would be along the lines of like chiropractic stuff. Yes, you got. You have to go conservative. If you do the medical thing that you're doing right now, I promise you, you're going to end up with damage that's not going to be reversible. You're in trouble. Yeah, they pretty much told me that if the uh, shot of cortisone doesn't work, their only alternative is a surgery. Yeah, no, don't let anybody touch you until you have tried everything else. We treat patients like you every day of the week. And we turn them around. We treat a lot of the professional guys. You know, we treat a lot of the Redskins. We treat the Wizards. We, you know, we, I was a doc for the Washington Mystics for uh, for a lot of years. And when these guys get hurt and they have joint spaces that are impaired, you can turn it around. Would the zinc regimen benefit me if I start increasing my zinc? Well, zinc, I do take a multivitamin. Now, but... zinc might help, but I need to know a whole lot more about you, Kenny. But right, right now, b- but right now, your primary problem is 
uh, a problem in your neck where you have a nerve that's pinched. You got to get it fixed. You got to get the system restored. Kenny, appreciate right. your phone call. Send me a note. Love to talk to you. Lynn, how can I help you? Thank you for calling. Yes, you're talking about zinc. I want to know specifically how much zinc uh, you need to take, and if you can get it in foods, how much food do you need to eat daily, and are there any risks concerning zinc? Well, we talked a little bit about uh, the side effects of zinc. There's, there's not Zinc is pretty safe uh, in a way excessive amounts, which we're talking about. You know, you get up to 200 uh, milligrams a day for an extended period of time, there's a problem. The other problem is that can, at high levels, it'll block the absorption of copper. And so you have to have it in a decent ratio. How much can you take prophylactically? 50 milligrams of zinc. Uh, there are, you know, if you want to get it from food, it depends on whether or not you're just trying to maintain or you're trying to replace it. Generally, uh, if you have... Uh, a problem with zinc because there's been a lot of toxic metals in your body or that you're, you're anemic or you have other autoimmune problems or there's a, meth- a methionine is uh, a product that can be broken down and eliminated uh, because of stress, any kind of anti- antioxidant stress. It's necessary for ligaments. It's ne- necessary for cartilage. It's necessary for immune function. So how, let me ask, answer your first question. How much can you take safely? 50 milligrams a day without any trouble. Uh, I would take it, you know, with your meals. I would take it with some vitamin C. Uh, but other than that, it becomes therapeutic, and I don't know enough about you to tell you that, you know, you should do this. It can, at high levels, it can uh, cause a problem with the absorption of iron. That's another reason I told you to take the vitamin C, because it helps with that. But 50 milligrams of zinc, particularly in a picolinate form, uh, works pretty well, and it'll maintain uh, a lot of different levels for you. But again, specifically for you, uh, I don't know because I don't know you. But that will help, and it'll make a difference. Well, I, I was wondering if you meant one five fifteen or five zero fifty. Five zero. Oh, five zero. Five zero. Okay. Five zero. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks for calling. I appreciate it. Laura, how can I help you? Thank you for calling. Thank you, Doctor Rizal, for taking my call. I need to ask you about the acupuncture. Are these needles uh, disposable or how? Because I'm worried about... In, t- in, today's, in today's world, particularly in the, in the United States, uh, the greatest majority of uh, doctors use disposable needles. And there's something called clean field technique, which means that before they even insert them, they're cleaning your skin, you know, with alcohol, and the needles are taken out for each individual use. They're taken out of a sterilized wrapper, uh, and they're inserted afterwards. The needles are very hair-like. They're very fine, uh, done properly. There's no, there's, uh, you might feel a little pressure when they go in, but there's, there's no pain. Uh, but yes, they are all uh, completely sterilized. Years ago, when I first started doing acupuncture many years ago, we would have to clean them uh, with a sterilizing solution uh, or we would use an autoclave to do that, particularly when I was in school learning uh, learning the, the art and the technique of acupuncture. But today, uh, there's really there's, there's no fear of them. They're uh, done properly. Uh, they're taken out of a box in front of you. They're there. The, the doctors using alcohol to clean the field, the doctor's hands, they, they should be washing their hands before and after application. So there's really not much of a problem, Laura. So yeah, no. Does it take for for a treatment? To well, one one treatment. Needles are usually left in in the body for anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, sometimes uh, there's reason to do it less. Sometimes there's a reason to do it a little longer. But generally between 20 and 30 minutes. So by the time you walk into the room and you know uh, the preparation time and then the needles are extracted, every uh, you're probably looking looking at a total of about 45 minutes. Uh, you know, uh, with okay, the how with many the how many times should the person go? For... De- there's no normal. It depends on what the problem is. Okay. Okay. So... I, I really need to come and see Dr. Tom and. Laura, we've got, you know, you know, in the office, I don't do a lot of acupuncture anymore. I do uh, some joint spaces. I probably do one or two or three cases a week. But I have two brilliant, traditionally trained acupuncturists, uh, Dr. Pina, Dr. Stephanie Pina, who you've heard on, on the air many times, and uh, uh, Dr. Connie Kern. Uh, they're both 
excellent. Connie was trained in China, in Guangzhou, and Dr. Pina is also a doctor in naturopathic medicine. Laura, give us a call. Appreciate it. Thank you for you know your attention and your listening to our program. 888-630-9625. Love to talk to you on any subject that you have in mind. Talking a little bit about zinc and the problems that are associated with structural problems. You know, it seems that adequate levels of zinc are critical for long-term treatment of any kind of spinal joint, uh, joint problem. If you have a problem with a joint space that won't settle down, it's usually because the body has high levels of inflammatory stimulation and low levels of certain minerals, particularly zinc. The connective tissue problems uh, that are involved in sprains and, and that sort of thing, uh, you know, uh, strain patterns, there's this damage that's being uh, uh, that's occurring, and part of it is because of zinc deficiencies. Zinc helps to hold the structure together. It tightens the ligament structure. It helps heal the the cartilage and so forth. And you know, although we think that we may get adequate zinc levels, the problem is most of us are very deficient, and it's a problem. And the other thing we're going to talk about today before the program's over is magnesium, because magnesium is the most efficient mineral across the board, bar none. And, you know, so you have to make sure that there's a balance. You can't just prescribe, go take this, because that's not the way it works. You have to know about the patient. You have to know about their dietary patterns. You have to know about their activity levels, their pain patterns, their stress levels. And you put them all together. See, because here's the, here's the problem, and here's the fallacy. People think, well, I'm just going to go and I'm going to buy these supplements and I'm going to take them. That's not where it starts. That's not how it works. I like that commercial. That's not how it works. That's not how any of it works. Here's how it works. You have to look at the structural, chemical, emotional pathways of each individual and you do something to change their lifestyle. If they're not getting some exercise, you start gently by walking and stretching. If their dietary uh, uh, exposures are bad, then start changing something. Start putting water in the body. Start eating more vegetables. Get rid of the fast foods, the junks, the sugars. My mantra, sugar, sodas, coffee, teas, fast food, fried foods, alcohol, gluten, additives, preservatives. Get rid of that junk. If emotionally you're not doing a good thing, guess what? You start engaging in social in- intercourse as well with people, talking to them and having relationships. That changes for most of us. If we get outside, we get some sunshine, it changes for most of us. The problem is that we get stuck. So do something differently. Change your life. Take control of it. My book, Age is Health. Health is a do-it-yourself program. If you don't have a copy of that book yet, do so. Get it. Make sure that you become the captain of your ship, of your health care ship, because nobody else is going to do it for you. I promise you, no one except for you. You must be proactive. You must be the person that says yes or no. Don't go to a physician and say, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. That's not how it works. If you were in my office, trust me, everybody asks me questions all day long. And they send me notes. And they want to know why. And that's because you have to become an educated patient. You have to have more information than the guy sitting in front of you. And trust me, if you understand systems, if you think globally, you'll know better and and you'll be able to implement more than most allopathic uh, physicians and practitioners in, in their institutions. We're coming up to a break. Don't go away. I'll be right back. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. Are you dental phobic? Do you neglect your dental health because of fear and anxiety? A beautiful smile begins with exceptional dental care, and you can trust in the expertise of Soft Touch Dental Care and Dr. Michael Chung. Soft Touch Dental Care is unlike any dentist office you'll ever experience. Their warm and welcoming environment is designed to soothe fears and anxiety the moment you arrive, and they're especially pleased to pamper their honored guest patients. Dr. Michael Chung is a professional and leading expert in all areas of comprehensive dentistry, including cosmetic, sedation, neuromuscular, TMJ, and implant dentistry. Offering state-of-the-art technology, Dr. Chung can give you the smile of your dreams. Arrange for a complimentary consultation today with Dr. Michael Chung and experience the expertise that makes Dr. Michael Chung so unique. Call 703-319-6990. That's 703-319-6990. Or visit bestinsmile.com. That's bestinsmile.com.
Welcome back, everybody. Dr. Tom Rizal here. You've been listening to Dr. Tom Rizal live as we do every Sunday, 12 noon, right here on your dial, 888-630-9625 is how you find me in the studio. And how you find me other than here is you go to rosellecare.com. That's R-O-S-E-L-L-E-C-A-R-E.com. And ask me or my staff anything that you'd like to know. Send the note. We promise we'll get back to you, and we'll do the best we can to point you in the right direction. The reason that we do this is because we love you. We want to make sure that you don't get caught and to take this pill for the rest of your life when it's not necessary. There's so much more that you can do if you treat your body gently, structurally. You take care of yourself. You make sure that your nervous system is working, your biochemistry is maximized, and your emotional state is over the top. Guess what? You get to enjoy life in the moment for years to come. If you don't, you're in trouble. You know, i got to give you the rules of the program. Here's the rules. Call me early. I'm sitting here looking at a full screen of calls, and there's no way I can get to all of you. Call me early in the show. There's a whole bunch more sitting there. We're gonna, I'm going to take one. We'll do the best we can. Marsha, thank you for calling. How can I help you? Hi. My mom has had um, swelling in her legs and her feet for the last year, and the doctors haven't been able to do much. She's 78. She has COPD, and she's never smoked. Yeah, she doesn't have to. Chronic, uh, uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is a significant problem, unfortunately, for a lot of people as they get older. And it's usually an interrelationship between, you know, the heart not working the way it should and the lymphatic flow of the body not being able to move things from the lower portion of the body up, you know, into the system and, and get rid of it. So, it's actually a, a topic you and I could talk about and with your mother for a long time. But let me give you some guidelines. One of the, let's talk about the heart first. And the heart is the pump. And it doesn't pump by itself. Obviously, you've got this heart that's about the size of your fist. And we're, we're, we want it to, you know, to push all this blood and all this lymph system through all these miles and miles and miles of vessels. And it, you know, it's part of the, the pattern, but it doesn't do it all. It relies on a lot of things. One is coenzyme Q10. CoQ10 is critical for any patient who has any kind of coronary problem or COPD. You've got to take at least 100 milligrams uh, three times a day for it to even begin to have an effect. The omega fatty acids, the omega-3s, decrease inflammation and also in, and help improve breathing patterns in the body. Uh, you can get it from foods through flaxseed, soybean, canola, uh, walnuts, uh, things like freshwater salmon sardines, mackerel, make sure that you're not getting it uh, from farm-raised, farm-processed, organic only, and you really need some guidelines. Vitamin E also, in many studies, has been shown to improve lung function. Any of the antioxidants, things that we've talked about, foods that are colorful, the the brighter, the greener, the better. Um, Things, uh, green tea, three, four cups a day if there's no... But again, we're going to air to organic. Uh, If you want to open up the lungs temporarily, eucalyptus. You can put it in a humidifier and get it in to allow the, the lungs to open up and, and breathe much more easily. B complex. Uh, congestive heart failure, and to some extent, if it's involved in COPD, is often a B complex deficiency. So you want to make sure that you have enough B complex in the system and the other things that, we, that we've talked about. Uh, NAC is uh, another supplement that we've seen with uh, COPD. Now, I'm, I'm hitting you with a lot of different things because I don't have a lot of time. And I need you to understand that this can be taken care of. Dietary patterns, decreasing inflammation, uh, making sure that the nervous system is working the way it's supposed to. The lungs are influenced by the vagus nerve from the brain, the nerves from the spine, uh, acupuncture circuits, and so forth. We treat many patients, but you have to treat them in a multidimensional point of view. Marsha, I'm sorry. I would love to go on further with this. I can't. We're coming up to the end of the program. We're there. Give me a call. Love to talk to you on any subject. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. See you next week. Bye. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. After 35 years of practice and almost three quarters of a million patient visits, the Rosell Center for Healing knows what works and knows how you can take control of your health and wellness. My team of doctors practice 21st century integrative medicine. Whether you suffer from chronic pain and fatigue, allergies, or headaches, we can help. Take charge of your health before it's too late. Make an appointment today. Call 703-698-7117 or visit online at rosellcare.com. 
Dr. Tom Rosell and the Rosell Center for Healing present Ageless Health 2014, Proven Tools to Maximize Your Health, Saturday, October 18th at the Fairview Park Marriott in Falls Church, Virginia. At this all-day seminar, learn how you can feel better or feel great when the doctors from the Rosell Center for Healing each discuss a topic that directly affects your health, like your food, physical fitness, preventing injury and disease, your healing process, and more. Learn more at agelesshealth2014.com. That's agelesshealth2014.com. Thank you. 